All right, we're all mic'd up, trying this again inside now. We're outside doing this live from Las Vegas, and we were outside right on the street, and then we kept overheating. It was a, thought it would be an awesome setup, but the phone kept overheating. It's like 103 degrees outside, so we got cut off like a million times. We're going to try it inside and see what happens. Hopefully, we're not going kick, to get kicked out of here inside, but whatever. Screw them. So we're here, at Las Vegas. Quick recap, what we've gone over. It's going to be all about the six-packs today, getting the six-pack abs, what you need to do to get there. We're going to go over my, the top three exercises to get six-pack abs, my top three supplements to get six-pack abs. We're going to go a little into boxing, talk about what type of alcohol you can drink when you're looking to get six-pack abs. These are the basic questions you hear all the time. So just quickly going to run through what we went over already. Quick recap is I was just talking about the photo shoot we did this week. Last week we talked about the protein, the carbs, the fat, what you need to do for abs with that. Today is going a little more into detail. Uh, we talked about going to, I was at the pool. We talked about getting made fun of because you're in shape. We talked about not giving a fuck what anyone thinks about you. Also talked about wearing two different sneak, color sneakers and having the discipline and what it takes to get into the best shape of your life, and to abs, and the and the nutrition that you need to follow, I went recent. I went this week. Been doing a lot, a lot of crazy stuff this week. Did a promotional photo shoot. Been doing high intensity workouts every single day. Didn't miss a day of working out. Went hiking, rock climbing, tons of team building exercises, network events. Visited several local gyms in the area. Check them out. See how they do things. Trained with a high level MMA fight gym with at the Asylum Fight Gym with Phil Dunlop, old trainer from New Jersey. This is just kind of stuff we went over, just flying through this. The whole purpose of this week was self-development, making yourself a better version today than you were yesterday. So you know I'm always on a quest to make myself better than I was. Where is the ticket office? They're not, they're closed. For the tonight show? Yeah, I have no idea. It's tomorrow, I don't know about that. It's not like to talk. I don't work here. No trouble, thank you. Could have just sold some tickets to the uh, Jennifer Lopez concert tonight if I wanted to, but I guess we won't uh, rip these people off. They wanted to buy tickets to the Jennifer Lopez concert from me. Anyway, so that's kind of what we went over. Getting out of your comfort zone, that's what it's going to take really to get to where you want to be. You need to be constantly take your out, out of your comfort zone because that's where the magic is going to happen. You need to surround yourself with the people that are going to make you better than yourself. People who have been there and done that. This is all the stuff we went over. I'm just going to kind of fly through it. You need to try to learn something new from everyone that you meet. Surround yourself with people that are better than you in all areas, and it's going to greatly improve you in all those areas. Talked about how, for me, that's obviously a challenge because I'm not exactly a people person. So that's why I attend these seminars, these top 1% of the fitness professionals in the world, top gym owners, went off-road Baja racing, rock climbing, photo shoots right on the streets of Las Vegas. I tried to do this Facebook Live on the, right on the middle of this busy corner intersection out there in Las Vegas, that didn't work. But it's all about taking you outside your comfort zone. We, where do we leave off? We were talking about the alcohol. Alcohol, right. Everyone asks, what kind of alcohol can I drink when, I, when I'm trying to get in shape or trying to lose weight or whatever? So I'm gonna let, let you in on, what, who, know, who thinks they know what is the type of alcohol, what's the best alcohol to have if you're trying to lose weight? Can anyone answer? You get five seconds or someone to put it in there. Someone put in the comments, what type of alcohol? What type of either wine or beer or alcohol or what is the best drink to drink while you're losing weight? Who can tell me the best options? Quick, 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 quick. No one's going to give me an answer. You're afraid to give an answer. I hear you guys talking in the back and whispering in the corners of the gym all the time about what the best lowest calorie, low carb, this and that is. So when you want, you want now you want to know the, the best alcohol to drink when you're trying to lose weight. Steve Owen is the correct answer. Ding ding ding. No fucking alcohol is the is the way is the alcohol to drink when you're looking to lose weight. So sorry to burst your freaking bubble. You're lucky none of you answer because I would know who to fucking look for. But you can you can tell me this or that. This has lower calories. This is the best choice. This is low carb. All that bullshit. Alcohol is still alcohol. Does anyone know how many grams are how many calories are in one gram of alcohol? Anyone know that? Put up there quick. If not, whatever. We learned how phone call comes in and cuts it off.
whatever. We learned a couple weeks ago, if you remember, that there are four calories and one gram of carbs, four calories and one gram of protein, and there was more than double that, nine calories and one gram of fat. That's why it's called fucking fat, right? But how many calories are in one gram of alcohol? Does anyone know? There are seven calories in one gram of alcohol. But not only just that. So basically, like a 12 ounce glass of beer has about 150 calories. Five ounce glass of red wine has about 125 calories. 1.5 ounce shot of gin, rum, vodka, whatever, whiskey, tequila has about 100 calories. So according, that's according to the National Institute of Alcohol Abuse, Alcoholism. So if that's where you're getting information from, you know you probably have a freaking problem. If they're the ones that have to tell you the, the National Institute of Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism, probably, especially if you're looking to lose weight, looking to get in the best shape of your life, and if you even want to take it to the next level and get six, six pack, you're gonna need to cut the alcohol. You know, Not only that, these, these additional calories are used for nothing but storage. There are no energy systems that are gonna use alcohol as a primary source of fuel, except maybe that of the liquid courage type of energy source for fuel. You know what I'm talking about, when you see some hot chick over at the bar you have no business fucking talking to, and you go talking to, and you go up to her and you say some dumb rude shit. Yeah, that's what's, that's the system, that's the energy system that's used called liquid courage. Then her loser steroided up fucking boyfriend comes over and tells you to beat it, and you respond with some more ignorant, stupid shit, and he proceeds to whoop your fucking ass. That was also the outcome of your liquid courage, where your alcohol led you to. So if you've already dug yourself deep in a hole nutritionally and with your overall health, you just got your ass beat by the fucking rock. So because your drunkenness made you think you had a shot to take him out, your entire lifestyle is taking a negative hit every time you're drinking. Beer muscles. Yes, Steve-O and beer muscles. <laughs> so your entire lifestyle is taking a negative hit. Every single drink you drink is like taking a shovel when digging yourself deeper into that fucking hole, deeper and deeper, creating an even bigger gap to overcome, creating an even more difficult path to your desire, to your health, your fitness, and forget about it, especially a six, having a stat six pack, you know? In, in more ways than one, you're digging yourself to fucking hell. Sure, those, those dead, useless, non-energy calories are just sitting in your gut. It's called a fucking beer belly for a reason. That's exactly what it is. It's exactly where it's sitting. It's not going anywhere. And you're not using it for any energy. That shit just sits in your gut, get stored and gets used for absolutely nothing. So that takes care of what alcohol you should drink when you're trying to get a six, get six pack abs. Sharing all my secrets with you. So the next question I get a lot of times is, okay, so you don't drink alcohol when you're trying to get in shape, when you're doing these photo shoots or these promotions and whatever, all this stuff and all these awards and all this other stuff. So then what supplements do you use? So I'm gonna go now go over my top three supplements. I'm not even gonna talk about Herbalife. We'll throw, we're gonna go into Herbalife in a second. We're talking about it in addition to our basic Herbalife, or you can even talk about Herbalife, but first I'm gonna talk about my top three supplements. Then I'm gonna go into some Herbalife stuff. Can anyone guess what my top three supplements are that I use? Anyone, you got five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. No one answered. So obviously I have my Herbalife stuff. Like I said, we'll get into the Herbalife in a little bit. But really supplements, it really depends on what your current goals are, period of training you're in. Your nutrition, your supplements can be, you can go through a periodization just like you do with your exercise and your training, depending on what your current goals are. So my top three supplements, number one is water. Water keeps your muscles working optimal levels, gives you higher energy, makes you feel more full, which is gonna prevent overeating. It's gonna help you process all that extra protein. Keeping your muscles full of water is gonna have energy and help you get the best, best workout you need, especially it's getting hotter out here. Like in, in Vegas, it's fucking 103 degrees outside and I've been doing some, tons of working out outside also. Hiking and all this other crap and rock climbing, 103 degree weather, you need to stay hydrated. Water is the number one supplement you could possibly have. The number two supplement you can have, and yes, this is the supplement, is a healthy mindset, a strong mindset, a positive mindset. You control your mindset with positive thinking. If you think it, that's the, you're, like we always say, your perception is your reality. You can think, you think about that, you focus that, and you have the, the mindset that you can achieve the flat stomach or the weight loss or whatever your goals are or even the six pack. If that's what you set your mind on and that's what your mindset is, I guarantee you it can happen no matter what. That is a, a supplement in itself. That is supplementing your exercise. This is what we're talking about. This is what supplements mean. And the number three supplement is freaking discipline. Not eating the shit you know you aren't supposed to eat. When you're eating that fucking cupcake, you're not, you're not fucking stupid. You know you shouldn't be eating that shit. Discipline is a supplemental skill that everyone has. It's just a matter of using that supplement. Everyone has self-discipline. 
It's just who chooses to use it, who chooses not to. When you see that fucking food that you know you're not supposed to be eating, that is a supplement that you can take that is inside of you that you can use just like you use a hammer to fucking put in a nail. You could choose to use a different tool, but use your self-discipline. It's going to take you a lot further. So those are the top three supplements. Water, a healthy, positive mindset, and freaking discipline. Those are the top three supplements. So... Okay, so now to give you some actual supplements, just so it's not just some stupid answer, you're like, oh, that's a dumb answer, I really want to hear some supplements. So we will actually go into some actual, real supplements. You know, but not, not any supplement, not any supplement is exactly just that, like I was saying. It should be an, a supplement to your already proper, positive, and controlled mindset and nutrition. In addition to, and not instead of, your nutrition. You shouldn't be having supplements or having stuff instead of your food unless you're doing some meal replacements or whatever that's one a different story we're talking about maybe performance type supplements stuff that's going to give you a little boost a little energy whatever or recovery if you don't have your shit together first any supplement will probably just make you fucking sick nauseous and 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 fucking fatter so don't just think you're going to start taking some kind of supplement some magic freaking pill some magic potion and just get in shape and lose all this weight and you're still eating shit you're still not training as hard as you know you should be. You're still not waking up early enough. You're still not getting to the gym early enough and on time and warming up and doing the things you're supposed to be doing. And also your mind is still fucked up and you still don't believe that you can do it. So if your mindset and your nutrition and your habits are not already formed, supplements aren't going to do shit for you except make you sick and fat and unhealthy and probably just keep like that alcohol dig you deep into a, a, a hole, deeper into a hole. Supplements are just in addition to. If that, like I said, that positive mindset and proper hydration already that you should be having. You should not be taking any freaking supplements until your foundation is in order. Positive mindset, your nutrition's already on point, your exercise is on point, you're getting there early for you, then you can start thinking about supplements. So don't come to me with some bullshit about what supplements can I take, I hit a plateau, this and that. You didn't hit no freaking plateau. Plateau is a myth like we've gone over in the past. So that, that is when you should be start, start thinking about taking any of those supplements or whatever. Like I said, the top three supplements are water, a positive, healthy mindset, and your freaking discipline. That are the supplements you'd be taking. Sure, we take some other stuff for weight loss, and we have tons of Herbalife stuff you have. You can do the meal replacements. Herbalife, we, you know, my, the, the god of the Herbalife supplements is the beverage drink mix, where it's 15 grams of protein. It's just like a juice. We cut out here. Liftoff, we know, gives a little extra kick. The herbal tea, the, the herbal tea that we have, all the different flavors, is good for energy, boosting metabolism. H3O, which has the extra carbs, extra sugar, and extra hydration, if you need that. Most of you probably don't. But we'll give a little boost of insulin to shuttle the nutrients into your muscles. You know, post-workout muscles are more receptive to that in that short window for the recovery process to start immediately. So, but again, don't think you're going to have these supplements without already having your nutrition and your exercise and more and most importantly, your freaking mindset in order or those supplements are not gonna do shit for you. We know the protein drink mix with the PPP, personalized protein powder, there's cell activator, there's restore before your sleep for recovery, total control for your metabolism, cellular loss, water loss, tons of Herbalife supplements that you know you can have. All right, but in addition to that, are there any supplements I use? There are at times some I use. I will at times use creatine and glutamine and that's pretty much it. Creatine is pre-workout for short bursts of energy within your muscle. That's all it is. A little burst, like a little sprint a little for weightlifting. A little bit of energy, high intensity, explosiveness. There is times I'll use creatine. Glutamine is post-workout. And then also your BCAAs at times also. Pre-workouts, I'll tr try not to use too much pre-workout. Since I will get some of that caffeine from like the green teas and stuff like that. Pre-workouts, if you're going to do it, and try to go for the natural ones, at least with no artificial colors, like the FD and C, yellow, four, bullshit, whatever, yellow, lake, three, you know, sounds like some government test experiment. So go do your research on some of these artificial ingredients, and, you know, a rat walks into a room and, with, the, with that shit and grows a, a second fucking tail or just drops dead. That, so stay away from those artificial colors. Not going to work for you. BCAAs, maybe, your amino acids, post-workout recovery. The, the beauty of BCAAs is... A sup is again, it's a supplement, makes you have nutrition in order first, is that you know, you'll see that they could be easily used during ex workout, during exercise, to reduce fatigue, accelerate recovery, reduce muscle soreness, and improve the use of fat energy, as well as triggering protein synthesis. So it's going to help. The, what protein synthesis is, is going to help the protein get into your muscles more for recovery, for growth, which is what you need. You know, that's the goal of everyone is to maintain your lean muscle mass while you're burning your fat. So when you're on those low calorie, low carb diets, you need to make sure you're having enough protein. That's why we bump those BCAAs up a little bit to help spare all that hard earned lean muscle that, that you have. 
and to prevent the muscle breakdown, uh, you know, putting your body into a catabolic state. But we don't want to get too scientific on your asses. So, you know, it's, but it acts a readily available fuel source for your hardworking muscles during intense exercise also, actually, is the BCAs. Protein shakes we know throughout the day. There is a difference between protein shakes and meal replacements. So, protein shake is just pure protein. When you're not getting enough protein in your day, a meal replacement is intended to replace a meal, meaning it probably has some more carbs, some more fat, so it's not just protein. If you're having just a protein shake, that's going to be a lot lower calories, a lot lower carbs. You're probably going to get a little more hungry before it's time to feed the next meal, and that's going to cause you to overeat. So you need to know the difference between a protein shake and a meal replacement. Huge difference. So that's why it's not just copying what someone else is doing, and that's why you see tons of you get not enough carbs in your diet. All right, so we're going to move on. We've got to keep flying before we lose our connection again. So next is what are Steve's top three six-pack Ab secret exercises. Who can guess my top three ab exercises? You got five seconds while I take a drink of my herbal life because I'm running out of energy, as you can see. No one's got an answer. Wake the, wake the fuck up. Wake the fuck up. All right, so the top three exercises for achieving and maintaining six pack abs. No one guessed, you're all afraid to because you think it's a trick question and you're probably freaking right. The first exercise that you can practice is preparation. Prepare your freaking day early in the morning. This is a daily exercise, a daily ritual you should be doing, preparing. When are you going to work out? How are you going to eat? What are you going to eat? What, when you're traveling, when you're moving around, when you're in your car, you're at home, you're at work, you're sitting on your fucking ass, what are you going to eat? Prepare. They'll make it a daily ritual. If you are always prepared, you never have to freaking get prepared. AKA meaning eat a bunch of shit, you know, on the road because you didn't plan ahead of time. So prepare, prepare in the morning, get up a little earlier, go to sleep a little earlier, get up a little earlier, prepare, plan your day ahead of time so you don't have an excuse. Oh, I was on the road and I was at the gas station. And that's the best thing I could find at the gas station. That's bullshit. That's an excuse for you to eat some shit that you know you shouldn't be eating when if you would have just prepared ahead of time, you could have had something a little bit better than that. My sunglasses almost just fell down onto my eyes. I could have been like these douchebags running around all weekend on Memorial Day, walking around the casino and walking around the bars and then in restaurants with their sunglasses on. You're indoors. I don't give a fuck if it's Las Vegas. Don't wear your sunglasses indoors. You look like a fucking idiot. Unless you have some problem with your eyes or some shit, but I doubt it. They probably got that shit from like that, that loser. What's his name? Kane, Kane West or whatever that guy's name is. Anyway, so number one, exercise is preparation. Yes, preparation is an exercise and it requires daily practice, daily training. Exercise. Number two is meditation. Meditation is the second exercise for six pack abs. I know you think I'm nuts and you're saying, what the hell is he talking about? Now, that doesn't mean you need to go sit on a fucking mountaintop in your fucking robe, chanting, to, chanting some freaking sounds to the flicker of a, a freaking candle or something. It means exercise your brain with positive thoughts. Picture yourself where you want to be, where you need to be, where you fucking deserve to be, and picture those six pack abs and think about and visualize it and think about what you need to do to get there and it's going to make it happen. You're going to sit there and put the path in place, the steps into place, what you need to do, and it starts with preparing. So preparation was number one. Meditation was the second exercise you need to do for those six-pack abs. And the third, again, is freaking discipline. That is an exercise. Discipline is an exercise. Self-discipline is an exercise, just like we talked about in the, sup in the supplements earlier. On all freaking exercise technique and in the fucking kitchen, practice discipline. It's an exercise. You've heard it a million times from me before. Every set is an ab set. Who's that? Marlon. Before losing weight, I was drinking 14 beers to get drunk. But now, with eight, I'm already dizzy. Is that because of lost fat? Yes, plus you probably lost, you don't have as much fat, you don't have as much junk inside you to block all that alcohol, that liquor, so of course you're gonna get drunk quicker. That's the beauty of it. I'll have one freaking beer, and I'm already starting to feel it, so it's perfect. It, so not only are you in better shape, you're not afraid to take your fucking shirt off at the beach, you don't have to spend so much money on your stupid ass drinks to get drunk. So look at that, he's now getting trashed on eight beers instead of 14. Look at that, Marlon, we just saved you a shitload of money by getting you in shape. You don't have to get and, and all that wasted calories now you're going to have. But back to the discipline. Every set is a freaking ab set. Keep constant tension on your abs every second of every set of every fucking exercise. You need to train and exercise your discipline. It is a muscle. Discipline is a muscle. Just like preparation needs to be trained, 
Meditation needs to be trained, so does discipline. It can be in, become an involuntary action, muscle, like breathing, or a heartbeat if it's trained properly. Discipline to me is automatic. I don't have to think about it. I don't have to really focus on it. That's why I gave myself this test this week, coming out here to Vegas for this photo shoot, for this promotional photo shoot a few days early, knowing that I can't eat anything. You even have to lower your sodium intake, your water intake at the end, and it's 103 degrees outside. I have to lower that, let down my, my hydration. In, the, in a town where it's a Memorial Day, it's just craziness, there's food and drinks and parties everywhere. That's what I wanted to do is challenge myself and test my self-discipline and I freaking blast it through that shit without question because it's a trained muscle. It's a trained exercise, self-discipline. You can make it an involuntary muscle, like I just said, if it's trained properly. It could become automatic, but you need to fucking train the shit out of it and you need to celebrate every little victory. That's what's good, like training. That's what's gonna give you better, 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 and stronger, and stronger. Every little victory you have with your discipline, Every little, people walk about looking at me like I'm freaking crazy, but I don't give a fuck because I guess I am. Anyway, who sits and does this shit in the middle of a casino? That's some weird shit. Anyway, where was I? Right, celebrate every little small victory. Little, especially victories that have to do with your self-discipline. That's how you train it. You celebrate it, you feel a little better, you start getting more confident, confident, confident. And then you don't have to think about it. When those situations come around and you're at a party, at a barbecue, and all that shit comes out that people are eating, all that uh, mayonnaise and all that bullshit, whatever, tomato, potato, whatever the hell salad that shit is. That white, nasty shit with all the lard in it. Cheeseburgers and all the hot dogs and all that shit. It doesn't, you don't even think twice about it. Once you start training your discipline, you don't even have to think about it. It just comes natural. You just pass that shit up. It doesn't matter to you. So if you do these three things, you technically will never have to do another ab exercise in your life. Certainly never have to do a fucking sit up or crunches or, or some side bend bullshit or something like that. There, you know, are there some good movements out there to strengthen your core? Sure, make, to make you stronger and support your back and make you know, other exercises safer and beneficial? Sure, but I call that core training. There's a difference to me between core training and ab training. Core training is gonna be more about functional strength you know, having a purpose, specific movements or goals. Ab training is only for the aesthetic, re you know, reasons. Like just to make them look a little better. I've seen some, some fucking weasels with lean, ripped six-pack abs, but they, but they would get folded up like a piece of piece of fucking cardboard or snapped in half like a, a rotting twig once they get put under any physical pressure. So there's a difference between core strength and ab strength. Core is actual functional training to make your abs stronger. It's going to make your exercise stronger, all your other workouts stronger. Ab training is just to make them look a little bit better, maybe if you're taking some little pictures or something. All right, so now, now just like the supplements, I gave you the real things that were gonna get you the six pack abs that we told you about a couple of actual supplements. Same thing, we gave you these exercises, the three main exercises, which you're gonna say, okay, those weren't exercises of what they are, but now I'll give you some actual exercises. The top ex actual physical exercises for the abs, number one is the squat thrust. We know we love the squat thrust, right? This, our gym over there at Peak Physique was built off the squat thrust. Squat thrust, your total body, is a total body movement, your core is fired up, especially when you're jumping back and forward in that bottom position, stimulating all the major muscles of your body, which, which builds lean muscle, will boost your metabolism. It's also cardiac exercise, increasing your heart rate, your body temperature, burning calories, killing fucking fat all around your waist. So, your squat thrusts are just freaking awesome, and you, like I said, this gym was built on a squat thrust. Plank walks, going from a low to high plank, we know what a plank walk is, going from a low plank to a high plank, alternating sides, alternating arms, flutter kicks, as long as you can do them and you're not going to strain your back, the trick is to stick your lower back into the floor so, you know, no hands under your ass. Some people stick their arms as far up under their ass that, you know, their, their butt cheeks just swallow half of their freaking forearm and that's not, the, you know, that's, that's not good or right. Un unless you're into that kind of shit, then knock yourself out, but whatever. If you're talking about ab, ab or core exercises with equipment, hanging knee raises when you're hanging in your knee from a pull-up bar or whatever and you're raising your knees, or mountain climbers with sliders where there's constant tension, constant friction, Either slow or fast, both are great with similar but different effects. So those are the exercises. Then we're gonna talk about the boxing part. We're gonna fly through this stuff because we've been cutting this into to 10 different segments, keep getting cut out. So the boxing, if, you've never, if you haven't boxed before, people ask is boxing for, for me over there. I've never done any boxing before. Don't worry, you're not gonna get punched in the face un, unless you want to, then we can accommodate you. But that's not what it's about. It's about fitness, it's about exercise. You know, talk about the ultimate core or ab exercise. Boxing is about as good as it gets. It, in, it both uses both terms that I described earlier on many levels. The core training, you know, more functional, and the ab training, which is just that look of it all. You know, it will give you that functional core strength, but also that ab look that you're looking for, as well as your obliques, your lats, your arms, your back, your, 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 your fucking everything. It works your entire body. It's working all energy systems, your aerobic system, your anaerobic system, getting you stronger, faster, teaching you basic skills to break a freaking nose if you have to, and also making your abs look better. So, boxing, 
Our boxing sessions are for everyone. Even if you've never boxed before in your life, we will take care of you. We'll teach you everything you need to know, all while giving you a ridiculous fucking workout. So, to recap, is it? The ladies, this is pretty loud. All right. All right. I just got told that I'm being too loud and I'm just disturbing people. So we got to, I can't talk, I got to talk a little lower. They're working and somehow this motivation and these, you know, these gold that I'm spitting to you is distracting some people that are working and they don't want to hear about it. They should be probably listening to this. I should probably speak louder so they can hear it, but we're about to wrap this up anyway before we get kicked out of here. They should be listening to it. So to recap, the six pack secrets, no fucking alcohol, water, a healthy mindset, discipline, the other supplements, actual supplements we we're talking about, which, and then preparation, meditation, and discipline again. If I say discipline, I'm gonna say it twice because you need to have extra sets of that, right? Every set is an ab set, keeping the constant tension. Don't forget that every second of every set, and then of course, we talked about the boxing. So coming up, now you could show off those the flat abs that you just got. What should you say here? On point and funny. I don't know if I'm funny, but whatever. I just do what I got to do to get the job done. So if you're in the six-week challenge or if you remember the gym, everyone is invited. Saturday, June 17th, 2.15, the gym full of peak freaks from all over. The, you know, our gym is full of peak freaks from all over the world. And some of you are probably from different fucking planets. So we're going to have a party for the end of the six-week challenge. Six-week challenge for now, we're going to announce the winners. Crazy freaking party. It's going to be an international-themed summer party bikini party if you want to call it that or whatever come show off that all that hard work there will be a contest for the best home cooked healthy ish ethnic dish from your country so make some of your country's traditional food bring the adult beverages from your countries and share your culture with everyone in this international summer party it's going to be freaking crazy bring your summer outfit the less clothing the better bring your wife your husband your kids your, your fucking pet goat or whatever you want I have tons of crazy shit planned for this party. You do not want to miss it. It will be over the freaking top like everything that you have come to expect from a Peak Physique event. So quickly to go over the recent weight loss, we've had Raj, bronze medal, lost 25 pounds. Vanessa Torres, silver medal, lost 50 pounds. The Camacho twins, Walter and Warner, both got silver medals recently, 50 pounds each. Like what a, what a couple of, of fucking super freaks they are. These twins, they lose the exact amount of weight together. Pound for pound, they're losing it together. They're showing lights off on me. I think that's going to matter. Like, I, I could still see my screen here. They cut, they cut the lights out on me. But we're just about done. Mark Pollard, bronze, 30 pounds. Margaret Abraham, gold medal, 75 freaking pounds. They close all the lights off. They think I can't, they think that you can't see on a camera. They should have been listening to me. They just shut my lights off on me where I'm doing this. Everyone tries to stop you. This is a lesson. The world will try to stop you. We're outside, right? Overheats. You do your Facebook Live and you get cut off because of the music. Keep grinding, keep attacking like that big rock that's in the middle of the river, huge, unbreakable, unmovable rock. The river, the stream keeps going through it and eventually what does the stream do? It breaks a freaking rock and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do what we need to do to get the job done. They can shut the lights off on me, they can call the security, they can call the freaking whoever they wanna call. I'm gonna get my message to you guys. I'm gonna do what I gotta do to get the job done to help you guys change your lives, lose your weight. All right, that's it for now. I'm gonna be heading to the airport pretty soon, get some work done over the airport. Maybe a couple more posts I'll do from over there but that's the end of this. Right now, if you have any questions, you can put them in the comments. I'll get to them later, and I'll talk to you guys soon.